<gasps> Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with the Magic Brad Show. And I've got my friend Jess on you. You there, Jess? I'm here. Jess Tiffany. I just realized that you have two girls' names. I do. It's my mom's fault. <laughs> is that your real name, Tiffany? Yep, that's my real name, yes. That's cool. It's kind of like Diamond or <laughs> Swarovski or something. Tiffany. Yep. Everybody wants breakfast at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I love that song. You get razzed with that? <laughs> breakfast at oh, yeah. Growing up, funny. I did. Not so much oh. anymore. I'm that's a little funny. bigger now. That's right. UFC. <laughs> I take none of that stuff. Well, Jess, we That's know right. each other. We haven't really hung out much before. It's uh, live events or anything, nope. and we can't anymore. You got to wear a mask if we do. But uh, true enough. You're local here. Are you in like Eden Prairie or Bloomington? Uh, Lakeville. Yeah, it was southbound or somewhere. I remember yep. uh, there used to be a place called Lakeville Printing, and we used to drive way down there because you got really, really inexpensive printing because it was so far away. Now Lakeville's not far <laughs> away at all. It's like a suburb. How long have you lived there? Yep. <laughs> How long have you been in Lakeville? Um, wow, I think about 10 years now. Okay, that's some deep roots. Like that. That's always good yeah. to know, you know, find out someone's stable. You like it? I do. I'm, uh, I'm originally from North Dakota, and uh, so I joke now that I came here for the warm weather because it is warmer here. <laughs> okay, so you were... You're, you saw the tree out there. There's, there's a tree in South Dakota. Yeah, there's, I think I saw at least two trees uh, on my last visit. <laughs> I did a magic gig once in Dickinson. Okay. And that's like over is it Montana or Wyoming? Um, it, it's a, over, but it's further. Yeah, it's further west. Yeah. And then it's a straight line straight to, to Minnesota. And I was driving yep. along in the rearview mirror. I see these red lights flash. And I thought, uh oh, what's this? But it took them like two hours to catch up to me because so I'm way, <laughs> way back. <laughs> oh, funny. Well, Jess, your expertise is in the LinkedIn world, kind of like our friend Mike O'Neill. Isn't that true? Yeah. The, the LinkedIn. Thing? Yeah, we, we, um, Mike's a friend. Uh, we do totally different pieces of the puzzle. I'm, I do more of the uh, uh, personal branding, um, organic, uh, you know, how to how to organically grow your network, how to uh, reach out to people and, 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 uh, and set up joint ventures, uh, that sort of thing, so. Yeah, he's more uh, data mining. He's more lead gen kind of guy. He's yeah. got all that funky software that does weird stuff and I don't understand it, to tell you the truth, but everybody's yeah, got their he's, thing. He's smart at uh, sales navigator and all that stuff, yeah. yeah. And you still got that yeah, Mevo like camera? The, the what? Mevo. Oh, Mevo camera. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I that haven't had research had a little bit now. <laughs> that's, a, that's a neat camera. It's a neat setup. If I ever uh, got into a situation to have a little studio where I did interviews live and in person, that would be a cool camera to have. It's a neat system. Did you cut out or freeze up? Oh, we got frozen. Must be that North Dakota winter. Colder, it's colder in North Dakota. It froze up. Come on, come back. <laughs> come back, Jess. You back? All right. You yeah. Uh, sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, it's that North Dakota wind, the wind chill. Uh, ah, yes. Froze that us will up. Freeze every time. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff happens. Yep. So, you got any new ventures, new projects you're working on? in general because this yeah, COVID thing really um, kind of disrupted a lot of stuff you know everybody's getting innovative and they, they're pivoting they're changing they're doing things different than yeah. they used to do uh -huh. you know? yeah so yeah we've got totally bit so i run a full service digital marketing agency um that basically that's our big company but uh, in that subsection i do linkedin but because um, i wrote an international bestseller on it so that's kind of what, what i'm more known for but uh, but we do do all that stuff. But so we've been really busy with people coming in, trying to pivot online and and get their products and service out out there. So so I've been getting a lot more um, a lot more uh, business than uh, normally at this time of the season or the year. And um, 
But uh, a couple things um, that are exciting is um, I'm partnering with a, uh, a gentleman um, influencer um, on, and uh, we're doing some new cool stuff that I can't actually even talk about yet, uh, but I'm super excited about it. So, but uh, um, I think I could say his name. I think I'm allowed. His name's Corey Warfield. He has like a 160,000 followers plus on LinkedIn plus other platforms. And uh, so we're doing kind of a cool, some cool joint venture stuff. Um, also have these uh, new uh, uh, digital business cards that you just tap a phone and zap. All of a sudden you get the stuff pops up on your screen and, and it's got a digital website and you can, you know, uh, use it at restaurants to, uh, sh you know, share coupons with people or you can, I mean, all kinds of applications can be used for it. So it's pretty sweet uh, new product that's been out for, I think about 90 days now. And it's basically like an Apple pay card, uh, but works on your phone with NFC technology, near field connect communications. Uh, so that's a pretty cool product. I'm excited about that. And uh, just pushing that uh, and that is an affiliate modeled uh, uh, product there. And um, uh, I don't know, there's tons. I'm just, I got so much stuff going on and lots of training and stuff. So, you know, you mentioned <laughs> it's crazy. The, the affiliate model pro product They used to have to kind of look for that stuff, but it's gotten to be very, very popular. Um, about two weeks ago, I think it was, I read an article that a lot of big brands like Coca-Cola and Best Buy and stuff like this, they're moving away from Facebook because of all the arguments and stuff on Facebook. They don't like that image. Mm. And they're shifting into an affiliate yeah. marketing model because they don't have to pay anybody until they sell. So they're just put, building out a affiliate thing. So I think uh, even the big brands are starting to say, That's well, very you're, smart. I... Yeah, they're going to start using general consumers to refer people things and then pay them commissions. So it may be, remember you used to go around and yep. tell everybody, hey, did you go to that new Disney movie? Now you're going to start getting paid when you do that. <laughs> it's about time. I, I, I like that idea. Yep, exactly. Well, imagine yeah. if Mark Zuckerberg would have made us all pay like $2 to be members and then we referred people and got a 50% commission. That would be pretty cool. If I got about 3,000 people, I get $3,000 a month from Zuckerberg. That'd be kind of neat. Yeah, I'd be happy if he retroactively did that too. <laughs> sure. Uh. How long Especially have you been LinkedIn. doing? What's that? What's I said that? I'd really like that if they did that on LinkedIn. Well, LinkedIn is interesting. It's a different animal because even with this other platform I'm using for video called StreamYard, LinkedIn is the one that uh, you got to jump through some hoops to be able to get connected with them with the video. They yeah. Don't, they don't want to just let anybody in there. So they're watching it kind of yeah. tight. Why, why is that? Why is LinkedIn? I know it's more B2B, but I still see questionable people on you know on LinkedIn yeah um yeah I think they're just trying to control the um you know the professional image on there and not become another Facebook because it could devolve I suppose into not, not the Facebook bad but you know they're we already got a Facebook so I think they want to uh, keep it uh you know more professional and and uh, keep out the riffraff well, that, that makes sense. You know, you see people trying to get their little political stuff in there and people kind of poo poo shoo shoo them out of here saying go someplace yep. else. Go to Facebook if you're going to bring that stuff up. Yeah, that makes sense. it's not, a, not, not as popular of a topic on there. Uh, a lot of the business folks say we can read that somewhere else. So Exactly. And I, I do like that, that they kind of made it a B2B type platform. And now there's that other one that you and I are on now that uh, thinks they're going to give LinkedIn a run for their money or whatever. And yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. A web talk. Yep. It's weird that people think that they, they need to compete and conquer when they can't. Why can't you just both ride the, you know, be together? Why can't you both just cruise? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I think you could. It, it's kind of neat. I mean, it's got, you know, it's got elements. It's it literally when you, when you connect to somebody, it lets you pick, okay, is it per, a personal person or a business person? And then within that, it basically, and they have patents on all this stuff. And but basically, you can pick, you know, like how you know them. Are they an acquaintance? Are they somebody you have worked with? Are they an employee? Are they? And it basically, it's a, it's like a CRM system, uh, contact management system built right in, and uh, and it's really uh, they've added. Uh, it's still in beta, but they have about five million um, plus people on it already, and uh, they're paying people, um, you know, a, a percentage of uh, on different uh, avenues. You get some money for post posting some money for sharing some you know and it's, it's like a pie kind of like uh like i do uh kindle books and they have like a 
a pie if they just read a page versus reading an entire book or buying the book they can just read pages now and and amazon basically shares you a you know a, a slice of the pie and that's kind of how this is set up you know based on how much uh activity and and how you grow your network you get a slice of the pie and then you also they also have a linkedin aspect where you can upgrade for a pro version to get more more connections and more access to stuff more tools and then you know you get paid uh, based on those memberships as well so it's kind of you get paid on multiple things but what, what what's really cool is i was on a a call with them and they're they're it's it's they're thinking a lot bigger it's they're ta they're talking about you know augmented reality and literally being able to on the fly be able to uh, as you meet people register whether their you know contacts are personal and have it all set up right where it's automated right through your you know your your special glasses or whatever and stuff and uh, it's pretty interesting stuff they're talking uh, you know 10 year out 10 years out technology uh, today and how they can leverage that uh, before everybody else does so it's pretty interesting um, but but they're gonna offer travel and all kinds of stuff so it's, it's gonna be a lot of revenue streams available eventually well, it, it makes some sense in that um, like Facebook is kind of like all sorts of stuff. And at first when Facebook originally, they didn't like to have business stuff on Facebook and now there right. is. And LinkedIn yeah. says, we just want business. So this web talk is kind of both of them. And it's kind of like the yeah. reality. I mean, yeah. I, when I go to a business event, I'm business minded, but sometimes you want to let your hair down a little bit and do some other stuff. And maybe it's not so, politically correct in the business world you know sometimes i don't want to wear yeah. a tie. i don't ever want to wear a tie i'm done with ties but <laughs> but there's something i remember people used to say if it's about business it's on linkedin if it's social it's on facebook and what happens is you go to apply for a job on linkedin and then your supervisor their your uh, employer looks you up on facebook to see what you're really about and decides yeah. whether they're going to hire you or not so i think some yeah. like web talk might uh, make people um, they're in one place, so their character has to be, you know, tolerable or yeah. they have to be kind. That'd be nice if people started being kind again. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, it would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. You know, um, like LinkedIn, I have 24,000 connections um, and I've got probably about the same on my uh, business page on Facebook, you know, but, but if, I mean, I would be extremely happy if, if, you know, if they paid me a slice of the pie this whole time, because it, you know, it would be quite significant at this point. And so I think it, I think it will grow in popularity, especially with all the COVID stuff going on and, and people not having to be able to get jobs. Um, you know, uh, the affiliate marketing stuff is just going to start booming even more. And I think we talked about that previously that, uh, do you, do you mean like the slice of the pie model? Yeah, slice of the pie, or even like what uh, Amazon or Best Buy do, where they pay you a commission based on sales. Well, I think it makes a lot of a lot of sense to make a slice of the pie because what irritates me oftentimes is when people get into, like on, on a Facebook or even LinkedIn, and then their response is, "Nice post." That's it. Yeah. That's not really conversing, you know. It's that would be really weird at a live meetup if people communicated that <laughs> way. So I think if a person had a slice of the pie. They get a little bit more if they add some content and some re relevant content and some yeah. kind, productive content. They get a little more. Asking questions. Yeah. Asking Start. and answering. I think that yeah. would be a Creating good Creating a conversation. And that might be the new algorithm that, that measures things that way. And then it should financially um, reward people. And then maybe we wouldn't have to worry about that thing called unemployment and everything. We just take a piece of uh, of uh, Bezos's and Zuckerberg's yeah. and Musk's and all those wealthy people, we can get <laughs> a little piece of theirs, a little piece of that pie. Yeah. I like that model. Absolutely. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I, how do, how do yeah, we kick I that can down the road? Videos on that. What's that? I said, how do we kick that can down the road? Yeah. 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 You just kind of have to look for those opportunities and, and, um, but one of my one of my talks, I talk about multiple streams of income and basically creating, uh, you know, uh, uh, job or uh, not job, but uh, create, creating an insurance policy for your income. You know, um, you know, if you have a job, a main job, and then you lose it, you're done. You know, all your money's gone, other than maybe if you can get unemployment for a short, small period of time or something. But then you're dependent on somebody else. But what if you could have eight sources of income and one drops off? You still got the other seven bringing in money. 
you know, and then you go back and you, you know, find another eighth to replace that or something. So, but uh, I always thought that a person should be able to earn an income from their passion. You know, if they love golf, talk about golf, get affiliate links to golf clubs and golf courses. Yeah. And if they like sailing, do that. If you like needlepoint, do that. And um, when you look at the Facebook model, yeah. some people, they, they want to take down Zuckerberg. They want to get rid of Amazon. They want to get rid of Facebook. No, let it go, but take a piece of it. And uh, yeah. like some people are upset that Zuckerberg collected all of our information and they don't think you should be able to do that. But why should you be able to go on his platform and make all these friends and these, all these enemies at, with, <laughs> for free? Right. You got to give up something and it just happens to be your personal data. Yep, your data. <laughs> yep. And, and that data is valuable to certain people. So um, obviously yeah, that's it's worthless to others. Worth. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, worthless <laughs> to others. Yeah. Some people think their, va their data is so valuable, you know? Yeah. 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 It's worthless to me. Yeah. I mean, it's worthless unless it's not. <laughs> yeah. Like your image and likeness. You can have my picture if you want it. Put it up on your, you can frame it. Sure, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm handsome. I demand a little bit of money for mine, so. Oh, do <laughs> you? Well, I do have a domain pointed to my PayPal account. It's paymagicbrad.com. So ah, if I ever decide to be a digital panhandler, that's what I do. I just go and go on and beg. Nice. Get myself a piece of cardboard. And... Yeah. <laughs> Got any spare well, I saw, Bitcoin? like a lot of these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just one, one Bitcoin, please. Um, but I, there's a, like a, on YouTube, I've noticed there's some, uh, when they do the lives, there's like a, um, a streaming thing where you have live chat and people are donating to those places, you know, people to basically fund, fund those people that they like the content from. I thought that was kind of interesting. I haven't uh, really researched that, but it's like, it's called like something like, like live stream or revenue stream or something. I don't know, but it basically yeah. allows you to monitor live chat. I think they've done that. And Interesting. People were doing it with like Patreon or something. They put Patreon links, but you're, you're saying maybe that that's YouTube, it. I'm not sure. Maybe YouTube built it right in. It makes sense just to build it in. And the reality yeah. is, they could process all the money and shave a little piece off each end, and they can make money doing all that stuff. Everybody yeah. can. Everybody can have a piece of the pie. It's not about how much of the pie. It's making the pie bigger. Yes. <laughs> Agree with you there. So. So do you have any? So is there any affiliate working on? I gotta find that out too. What did you just say? Any exciting affiliate stuff you're working on in your end? I was just gonna ask you that same question, and in my head I was thinking, <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna ask me that. And there you did. Yes, there is. It's interesting because I mentioned, um, like I was in the event business, and I just finished my event planners expo March fourth, and then around the twelfth, okay. COVID. And Shut down. Ain't no events. And I was going for events, hospitality, travel, and tourism. I thought, this is the thing. Well, now there's none of it. So I thought, what am I going to do? I got to pivot. So I pivoted and I'd been doing some affiliate marketing based stuff, but now I'm pretty much 99% in it because I don't know when this event world is going to open back up. Even though I've got March 3rd scheduled, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it successfully or not. So I'm riding the affiliate wave. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing with this whole thing is I'm creating a different model. You know how all these things come up with different models, like offer a freebie to get them to opt in and then put them into an autoresponder. I think that's kind of beat up and overplayed because mm -hmm. you get these autoresponders and I don't know about you, but this is how I go through my email. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I spend a, lot of t spend a lot of time deleting every day. Yeah, so my model is, I think there's three stages to business in general, generate leads, relationships, sales. So it's plant the seed, nurture to plant, harvest the fruit. Generating the leads, getting the traffic, and it's gotta be qualified traffic. You can't sell you know, hamburgers, hot dogs, and barbecue to vegans and vegetarians because there's not gonna be a match. So right. you gotta line it up and get it in alignment. And then even though it's in perfect alignment, they're still skeptical. So they don't trust you. And you're doing all this stuff with dark sunglasses and hiding off into the corner and using a screen, you know, screen share thing or some of that 
fluffy fake background with the green screen. Sure. I'm saying let's be open, honest, integritous, sincere, genuine, and build that real relationship so that you can be known, liked, trusted, and respected. Then I think the sale will just fall. The, the fruit will be ripe and it'll fall off the vine. So what I'm doing is a lot more video like this so that people know who I am. I got my little magic thing going on there. Magic Brad, create that brand. And I'm trying to be open and transparent and try and help other people because the reality is if we've got traffic of people want to make money online, I can say, Jess, what's your affiliate link? What's my affiliate link? We hook it onto this URL with a rotator and we just promote that single URL and you get one, I get one, you get one, I get one, you get one, I get one, you get one, I get one. And that's how cool. you can do it. So, that, and then I'm also, I also believe that the old world used to be broadcasting. Now it's narrow casting. So mm. when you see some of these groups where people got, uh, you know, 17,000 followers on TikTok or whatever, a million. They don't really know the people. How can you know all those people? They probably know seven. Oh. Right? <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm creating a system that grows cellularly and organic. So these little groups, these little pods are only seven people. Because then if we got seven people, We've got one person that knows Facebook, one person that knows LinkedIn, one person that knows how to copyright, one person that knows video, another person that knows how to build relationships. You get mm -hmm. just this little team of seven and you guys all work together. And when an eighth person comes in, you click up to the next octave. So do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, re, mi, fa, so. And it goes to the next thing and builds that other pot of seven till you get full then you go to the next cell so it just splits okay. off cellular cellular growth is the way i'm trying to create it and that way you can get seven people that really know each other and the people are interchangeable you know they can yeah. move out and move in but you got your own little click because that's what happens at a live event whenever i would go to like an agc event or in, in my event industry the meeting professionals international you get 150 people in the room and they click up into groups of three and seven <laughs> they get into that's, little clicks. That's true. That's what happens naturally. So I thought I'm going to go with the flow. So that's what I'm working on. I'm trying to figure out how to do this without having to hire a software engineer to figure it out. I think there's a there's another way of doing it. Just a, a gentleman's okay. agreement, so to speak. Yeah. Shaking hands virtually now. Yeah, fist bump. Fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's kind right of like that. Yes. Okay. Interesting. So, um, so how have you, uh, do you, so you're just kind of reaching out to people, building relationships, building the trust, and then kind of uh, bring, asking them to bring into this pod? Is that kind of how you're doing it? Yep. You got to have this, this uh, similar interest. You know, yeah. like, like one of the programs I'm promoting is called Easy One Up. And basically it's, uh, it's online education, teaching people how to do all this and have the right entrepreneurial mindset. Because if someone's, if they just got off a job, and then they go, they, they're no longer working and they're gonna get into a business and it's Saturday morning and they think they're gonna sleep in until 11. No, you gotta get up, you gotta do something. Okay. I mean, not, maybe not on a Saturday, but you gotta get that right mindset to be entrepreneurial and you gotta, gotta go for it. You can't, yeah. can't duck out like that. So the first part of it teaches that kind of thing. And then there's programs that teach how to do social media and how to build relationships and all that. So this yep. easy one up is a program of education inside, but there's a compensation model to it. And what I like about it, it's called a pass up model. So okay. the first commission would go to you. Like if I brought you into the, the group, the first commission goes to you. The second one goes to me. Third one goes to you. Fourth, fifth, sixth, rest go to you. But because I'm second, I've got a financial incentive to help you get your first. So that's what I like about that model. Instead of, hey, now that I got you signed up, see you later. <laughs> I have an incentive to get the, the person going. So that's where I use this rotation, this pod model of driving mm -hmm. the track the traffic to that using a URL rotator. And then they are a part of that pod. Mm. And then when they bring someone in, they can be, get to be part of the pod too. So the traffic keeps going to the pod and it's sort of a viral loop kind of thing, a feedback loop. Okay. 
so that each pod then feeds back into itself wherever you end up putting it. Okay, and that's but where again, you use I, the rotator link then? Use the rotator so it ends up being distributed equally. Okay. And we, co we collaborate to drive traffic, but then it doesn't necessarily, like, like if you did this with a, um, with a system, the system doesn't know certain things. So it needs to have a human kind of look at it and go, okay, look at all that traffic. Holy smokes, this is a bunch of tier three traffic. It's kind of worthless. Maybe we should unhook that one and spin this around, hook it onto there. Mm. So you kind of unhook things and move things around, keeping yeah. you know, how it all goes. So that like I'm the Borg and I get to look at, oh, these cells need to be cut out because they're worthless. These are cancerous right. cells. We'll get rid of them. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's kind of a neat, uh, a neat uh, twist on the affiliate marketing uh, program. Well, I came up with it in that, you know, the, the traditional multi-level marketing pyramid scheme. <laughs> People are afraid of it because they think it's illegal and it's a Ponzi scheme. And the reality is, in concept, it worked. But now that everything is so open and transparent, it doesn't work like it used to work back in the day. And what happens is you got to grow this big, giant team. And it's too easy for this team to find something new, a new shiny object. Mm -hmm. Whereas back in the day, pre-internet, people didn't know about anything but Amway. There wasn't a bunch of other things, you know, Shackley and this and that and juices. and sure. that. They didn't find them that easy. But now you Google it and there's, you know, the top 1,000 MLM opportunities. There's too much there nowadays. So it's too yeah. easy for that pyramid or that, that chain or that root system so I'll have someone cut it off and say, I'm leaving, I'm going to another thing. And they take their team with them. And that really mm. hurts that person above them. Yeah. So I think it's an old model, that tree like that. And I think something like this, a cellular type of approach, you know, if you just cut off one of the cells, it doesn't matter much. Just mm. a couple of people. But if you cut off a yeah. whole leg, that really damages a multi-level marketing company. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think you might be onto something there. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some other elements that I'm trying to bring into it too, in that, um, you know, like say for example, your expertise is your, your agency and your LinkedIn, right? Yep. So if on the side, say you, do you like golfing or fly fishing or anything like that? Sure, I love golfing. I actually love both. So. So if you're right. supposed to be focused on your business, your, your marketing agency and your LinkedIn, and then all of a sudden people see you promoting this golf program, they go, hey, Jess, I thought you were the LinkedIn guy. So I'm setting up a system where it'll, it'll let you stay on focus with your stuff and then passively is that banner off to the side that it doesn't matter if you're tied to it or not. You are because mm. it's your affiliate link. But people might click on it, and you don't care who it is that joins, right? <laughs> Doesn't matter. No. They just no. join, and you start getting that commission, and maybe you develop a relationship, maybe you don't. But you can stay focused with 80% of your stuff on what you do. The other parts yeah. are little hobby side hustles. And okay. I think it's important yeah. to keep that so that, because it's happened to me a lot. You know, I'm, I used to do magic full time. And if someone sees me doing something else, they thought, well, hey, I thought you were a magician. I didn't know you were a marketer. Well, forgive me for having <laughs> something else, you know? Right. Yeah, people are a little fickle that way. They, they get stuck in their lane. And if you change, they, they don't know what's happening. So it's old mindset. It's this, uh, this uh, left right mentality, I think, that our brain is kind of set up with yeah. this duality thinking. And that's part of the reason we got all this craziness happening in this world right now is people are so far left or so far right. They don't see a common ground and all they can do is meow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time yeah. people realize that to me, opinions change with circumstances. Sure. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Well, cool. Is there anything else you want to share before we be, close this off? I don't like to do these too long because people get... Yeah, no, them. that's good. Um, yeah, no, uh, just, uh, uh, yeah, maybe uh, throw your, uh, your web, web talk uh, link somewhere in, the, in your description or whatever so you get credit for that. Um, but, uh, and the other stuff, the easy one up and all that stuff, make sure you obviously. And then uh, mine uh, is jesstiffany.com if uh, they're looking for uh, LinkedIn trainers or speakers. 
Um, I do speak and do key stuff. Obviously, it's all virtual mostly now. I did a keynote uh, type thing in uh, um, in India the other day, you know, through Zoom. It's much easier to do that. So, uh, you know, international so speaker. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, so that was kind of cool. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, just Tiffany.com and then my web, my uh, marketing agency is MNUdigital.com. So MNUdigital.com. So uh, those are some good ways. And obviously, uh, find me on LinkedIn. That's my number one social media platform. So I will put those links into the YouTube uh, video. And then when I get that to sure. you, if you can share that too, you get some synergy yep. going and one plus one. Absolutely. One. Sounds like well, a plan. Wonderful, Jeff. This was fun. And if you ever have some other ideas or new things or when that new thing is ready to launch, do you want to get it out? Um, I'm ready yes. to go again. Sounds good. Thank you much. Okay. Thanks. Peace. Take care. Peace.